Um, we had a discussion um, on Big Clive's channel about um, LCDs and their behavior with uh, DC load um, or DC currents flowing to Earth. And um, he dissected a power supply and uh, casually um, said, Oh, um, I have to be careful not to prepping my LCD with, um, with the, my, my, my meser, uh, meser current. And um, yeah, and, uh, we had a discussion about this. And I thought um, I would just show what happens if you load an LCD with a uh, current to Earth which has um, uh, some uh, DC part. Okay, um, I think you already um, noticed I'm not a native English speaker. Um, I'm German and um, I hope uh, I will can make, I will make me understand. So, okay, um, I called it here uh, together something uh, looks a bit dangerous, but actually isn't that dangerous because we have um, um, an isolation transformer here and um, all I will doing um, uh, is uh, isolated from, from the mains. It's still mains power, um, but uh, you'll be pretty safe uh, in the setup um, uh, if you don't touch both sides. Okay, this is my, my lead I will use. Um, this is um, my life, I declared this as, as life. It's uh, completely uh, this way or this way. It uh, doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, this is my um, ground, and uh, this is uh, neutral to the LCD, and this is um, just some resistors I um, uh, cobbled on here um, to, to um, generate some current to ground, bypassing the RCD. Um, these are 5.6 kilo ohms. This gives around um, 40 milliamps uh, current, which will be suffi sufficient to trip any um, 30 milliamp RCD, like I'm using here. Okay, this is a fairly old uh, model. It's, uh, it was in use until, don't know exactly, three months ago or something. Um, okay, I will just show what happens. Uh, power is on. Nothing is, um, yeah, unclean. Um, <laughs> Yeah, connect. Nothing is connected to the um, protected side of the RCD. Okay, I switch it on. Trying the test key and it trips like it should. Again, okay. It's still working. Um, perfectly normal. Now I have here some um, electronic ballast I ripped out of uh, the Siling, it, it was uh, part of a um, lightning fixture. Um, it's a uh, ballast for two uh, fluorescent lamps. Um, it's defective. Um, it doesn't uh, put out power anymore, but uh, the main side is still functioning perfectly normal. So, okay, I will connect this to the RCD. This is the neutral side. Um, it's also here. Yeah, nothing is marked. You can put it on like any way you want. So, okay. Ah, yeah, those clamps are not made for tin wires. Okay, tight. Switch it on. Um, let's grab a meter. Um, volts DC, just to show you uh, the rectifier still works on 320 volts. Okay, that's perfectly normal for um, this circuit. Um, 
there's uh, the rectifier. Um, this is uh, the main side. This uh, black wire goes here. It's, it's uh, the live. The neutral is somewhere uh, in there, um, and that's the cap. Okay. So now I grab one of my um, wires here, and just to show you, this setup works, and it ripped like it should, because that is errorless current, purely AC. Okay. Now, oops, be careful not to short this. It trips. Okay. It's um, direct connected to the black wire. Okay, now I go behind the rectifier. Yeah, it trips. It trips. Okay, now the cap and it trips. And it trips. So, okay, Big Life was uh, perfectly right. Um, it would have tripped. But let's just try another RCD. Yep, lead is out of the wall. Uh, by the way, um, uh, it has no markings about type A or AC or anything, but uh, this little um, picture here shows the pulsating current, so it should have tripped and it worked. Same here, it's the same um, picture here with uh, both waveforms, AC and pulsating DC. Check everything out of the way. Nothing connected where it shouldn't be connected. And power on. And let's test. Dripped. Okay. Fine. Dripped. Okay. Oops. It didn't trip. Why is this? Still didn't trip. Why is this? Nope, no trip. Now, this was direct mains. This was just behind the diode. Didn't trip. Okay. This may it's this this is maybe some fault with an um, defective appliance like. I say it, a wall ward, uh, some charger or something. What happens if you have this on your uh, outlet, on your main socket, and now you touch another part of the mains. Okay, it tripped. So now we have um, some DC, we have some AC, both resistors are the same size. Um, So, so the, the, the resulting current will drop to zero um, every um, 60 milliseconds or so, or 20, 20, millise 20 milliseconds. Um, so it will still trip. Um, I may be able to trip it anyway if I'm tapping. No, nothing. Okay, so this RCD, it's Perfectly the same. It has the same markings, anything. It's a bit newer and it doesn't trip at all with DC. Um, let's test. Um, I have to discharge the cap. Yep. Okay. Put it away. 
next test. Like I said uh, in the discussion about the video, um, what happens if you have a one? Uh, this was a bridge, uh, bridge, uh, bridge rectifier. So um, theoretically, um, there was a real DC. It was still uh, pulsating DC. Okay, I have um, some parts here. This is um, just a Joe Blocks diode. Um, no, nothing exciting. Okay, look this out of the vault. I will just put this on the oops, RCD and click test. RCD is on, diode is in, it trips. Now, after the diode, uh, it doesn't trip. It should trip. It's marked to trip with pulsating DC, but it just doesn't trip. Okay, now I can um, put on the cap. Uh, I just grabbed out of my box bin. Um, it's exactly the same cap uh, as it was built in in the uh, part I used before. Um, it's just another one was that failed some time ago. And conveniently uh, lying around here some wires. Yeah, okay. We'll do. Side. It's not made for this wire set. Uh, okay, now it grips. Power on. Same setup, um, but um, yeah, it's clear what happens. It only drops after I'm going directly at the mains. Um, now again. I will apply a DC current. Now DC is flowing to us over this resistor and now I use the other one and it still trips. So you would be lucky in this case, um, except your touch here. Um, it will uh, like uh, some charge charging cable. This would connect it somewhere here uh, to this um, if you have an, an internal fault and you would touch this which are still just to remember you and we measure it measure it here is my neutral yes this is normally connected to ground um, connected to you and this is the part you could touch in this case and don't know. 320 volts. This is what you would get if you touch a defective um, charger or some other uh, defective stuff. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I could grab another um, RCD, it would behave exactly the same. Um, something like this, like this. Um, I could uh, put this on, 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 on this, uh, it would still not uh, trip. Um, maybe I grab another one and it would behave slightly different, but um, yeah, who, who really knows which type of RCD is uh, built in his um, uh, um, distribution panel? Uh, if there is uh, an RCD at all. Um, so, yeah, you have to be careful, but not to rely on the RCD tripping in case of failure, because 
like I showed you, it wouldn't trip in any case. So just for fun, discharge this cap. Uh, yep. Okay. That's it. And bye for now.